All right, man. Uh, Joel and Beeb and um, uh, Paul George set out the season opener. Um, you know, and now the NBA is opening an investigation on uh, Joel and Beeb and the 76ers about when Joel and Beeb came out and said he not going to play back to backs. And sometimes it's best just to shut the hell up. But they preserving them for playoff time. Right. And even when healthy in the playoffs, he still get tired. Even when healthy in the playoffs, you know, he don't deliver in big moments. You know, and that and 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 and, and that and that's and that's the case. These are two guys that you historically can't rely on. You know, and when Paul George, when you do rely on Paul George, right? When you do rely on Paul George, right? And, you know, and then the other superstar go down, whether it's Kawhi Leonard or when he healthy in his career, especially before the leg injury, when he healthy, you know, then he don't deliver in big moments. The only time he delivered was in the Western, in the Western, that playoff run they made. And that, that was because there was no, and I'm a huge Paul George fan, even when he first got into the league. And that was because, you know, that was because of the injury. I mean, that was because of the injury. Kawhi really wasn't no pressure on them. It really wasn't no pressure on them to deliver. So it really wasn't, you know, like I said, it really wasn't any pressure on them. And that was the problem. It wasn't no pressure on them. So you got two guys who don't deliver, who don't deliver in the clutch. That's a fact. You got two guys who don't deliver in the clutch. And that's the problem. You got two guys who don't deliver to the in the clutch. And can't stay healthy. So Sixers fans thinking they got a chance in the East, you have no chance. Hate to break it to y'all. Y'all have no chance. Y'all have absolutely no chance. And 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 that's the God honest truth. They have absolutely no chance. They have absolutely no chance. You know, and then you look at the uh you look at the uh what's the what's the uh, the Pelicans, right? Opening night for the Pelicans. Zion Williamson already injured. Out with an illness. Right? Then turn around. It turns around. Turn around. Every time you live, you know, you turn around. DeJounte Murray possibly fractured his hand. <laughs> the guy they, they just acquired just fractured his hand. It possibly broke his hand or fractured his hand. Do the NBA and teams understand, you know, being injuries are contagious. Touch me, baby. Drive me crazy. Give me what you got. You are contagious. Yes, that shit is contagious. <laughs> like chicken pox. That is contagious. So I don't think people really realize that. So the 76ers, you know, coming together and, and bringing and bringing these dudes together, man, bro, y'all ain't never winning. And at 30 years old, at the pinnacle of most people's uh most people's uh at the pinnacle of most people's uh at the pinnacle of most people's prime. You know, you can't stay healthy. You can't stay healthy. 
That's a huge red flag, brother. That's a huge red flag. The Sixers ain't going nowhere. The Sixers are in neutral. They are not going nowhere. They're not going for a long walk with Jill Scott in the park. They're not going to the Roots concert. <laughs> you know, they're not going to get a Max cheesesteak. Y'all not going nowhere in Philadelphia. Y'all not going nowhere. Y'all not going nowhere. So y'all can hope all y'all want in Philly. Y'all can hope all y'all want. Real talk. Y'all can hope all y'all want. But y'all ain't going nowhere. Getting Paul George was the dumbest thing y'all can do. And you want to know what's the other dumb thing you could do? And I'm my homie from Philly gonna be mad when I say this. Was not trading Joel Embiid. I would have been traded that dude. You know, he is not going to be ever healthy. He's not, unless you can build a super duper team around Joel and B, which that would make, that was, you know, he would have to take less money. You're not going nowhere. He doesn't have a commitment. I heard he lost some weight this year and all that. He's not committed. And they they always talk about, and I hate to make it about this whether I close it out. How you know a lot, a lot of these immigrants and people from Africa come over here and they work harder than uh, than Black Americans and the Mexicans work harder than us and all. Man, no, they don't. Those motherfuckers be lazy too. They get all this assistance from being the migrants, you know, and then they have a sense of culture where they can live for people in, in an apartment and won't nobody complain about them. But as soon as you know ninjas do it, it's a wrap. But then ninjas do other dumb stuff too. I will say that. They have a sense of they have a sense of culture. We don't have any sense of culture because of what they did to us in this country. So we look at each other as enemies. Only thing that brings black people, black families together that's broken is death. Or somebody come up on some money. But he he's a, he's very uh, representative or indicative of, um, yeah. The motherfuckers come over here and get lazy too. They get fat too. They get out of shape too. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. So yeah, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Spotify, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.